That's fucking slippery. That's very slippery. Let's have to be careful. I've been braking just a little bit and my rear wheel just went like not cool at all. If that happens to the front, you're going down. Like I did in the other video. I still don't think I could have uh, easily got out from the other situation, but still I, I would have had a bit more chances if I was prepared a bit better. I'm really thinking about getting a, a proper riding course where they will teach me like proper emergency braking, they will ride with me, they will give me tips and stuff. I know how to survive in a city, don't get me wrong, it's just those situations where you uh, suddenly you have to react to something very very weird that you're not expecting because where I, I can predict most of the situations that happen usually you have that, that weird feeling about someone or something but sometimes things just happen that you do not expect at all like uh, I didn't expect at all this this other person my other video to you know with with a free lane to turn uh, with you know uh, you know cl clearly without changing lane she could have turned I, I don't even know what what happened there that she just slammed her brake and turned just in front of an island into the bus lane that she shouldn't be in in the first place that was something I would have never ever fucking expected that's why that's why I uh, kind of panicked besides she was so close I didn't know if she's gonna stop and park in the no if she did there is no way because I I landed like a meter behind where she was at the moment where I started braking so because she stopped and then she kind of accelerated quickly uh, so if, if she if she was just stopping like turning into the bus lane and stopping there I would have been fucked no matter what probably if I didn't drop my bike and started braking I could have maybe you know just just by an inch made it to, to kind of slow down before she moved off I don't know it's just theoretical it's too late now this is something you can analyze afterwards and be fucking smart as about it and say yeah yeah you don't know how to ride you're such a noob whatever but uh, anybody who says about another biker that they're the noob has to remember one thing no one is a pro when they start and uh, if if you think you're a pro you're not a pro uh, you, especially if you call other people noobs that means you're not a pro because real pro like in every discipline never says they're a pro because they see how much they can learn it's like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu people who say oh I'm fucking super duper in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu I just basically novice uh, like mm, <laughs> they've just started yeah uh, they might have got her brown belt or something and they feel like they're fucking the best in the world but the truth is all the top 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 fucking guys always say there's so much to learn there is so much to learn you can learn whole whole life and never learn it <coughs> there's always place for improvement same with motorbikes there's always place for improvement always place for you know becoming a better rider so if someone tells you you're a noob just fucking ignore them they're just trolls so I post my videos even my crushes so that other people can learn from them so if you see me making a mistake, fine, I've made a mistake, I paid for it, I fucking paid for it. There's no reason for you to tell me, oh, you're, you're such a loser. I know I'm a loser. I know I fucked up. Don't you think I, I've thought 10,000 times about my mistakes? 
whenever I made them. All the close calls, you know, when I'm really close to fucking dying or, well, maybe not dying, but ending up in a hospital with a fu fucked up bike every time, I get this funny feeling in my stomach like, fuck, and I make it because, uh, because of luck or because of a little bit of skill or because of a little bit of hi uh, hindsight and, uh, and kind of spider sense, if, if you call it, or, or bottle biker sense. Uh, if every time I make it and I'm like, wow, that was close, I think about it for, for days, even for weeks, and I, I keep repeating the same situation, like, what the fuck could I have done better next time if that happens, or what should I avoid doing to prevent this in the future? So, uh, a lot of clips that you see me posting are from a couple years back, so... <laughs> You know what I mean? You, you can say, oh, you, you, you this and that. Fuck that. I've improved a lot, to be honest. I'm still not... I'm not a pro. <laughs> I'm still probably a noob. I don't give a fuck. I, I don't need a title of, of a super-duper motorbiker. Oh, yeah, I'm tough. I'm a motorbiker. Fuck that. I, I never claim to be tough. I never claim to be anything. I'm just who I am. And I keep improving. That's that's my goal. To do my stuff and keep improving. I don't need fucking medals. I don't need fucking belts. I don't need recognition. Every all of these things are nice, but they're not necessity. So yeah, keep improving and don't claim you're a fucking dog ball. Because you're not, you're probably not. Unless you're racing fucking GP, moto, or whatever, then, uh, then yeah, maybe you, you can claim you're a pro, uh, and then you're probably a dick anyway, because none of them says that. They just probably say, yeah, we're good, but there is so many things we can we're working on to be the best and to win, to be number one. And if they, even if they are number one, they realize that, you know, next time it may not be me winning. So they're never like running their mouth. Because it, but YouTube is full of fucking idiots who run their mouth, unfortunately. Fuck them. Who the fuck is that thing behind me? We're going quickly enough. You don't need to tailgate me. If you want, I can slow down properly. Yeah, that's better. 